chin down a little bit towards your feet. Wiggle your left toe. Hey everybody, Dr. Eric Kermit, Guru Chiropractor. Peace and love, back for another video. This is my new patient, Charles, right? right. Pounded here. Charles came from Philly. Philly. I'm not gonna tell him what happened yesterday, but um, he's been, I would say like most of your life you've been using chiropractic. Yeah, good 27, 30 years, yeah. which is awesome. I love working with people like you. And I've heard these stories before, and it's actually even happened to me. You had a great chiropractor for a long, long, long time that you was great and really vibed, and then he went ahead and retired. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of in that search. You found a few chiropractors, but they're not kind of cutting the mustard. I'm, I'm kind of paraphrasing what you told me. And you saw me on social media, so you liked, I guess you liked what, what you were seeing, and you, you drove all the way from Philly to give me a shot. Right. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you taking a ride. Everybody who drives far, I tell them, the average chiropractor basically pulls from five to seven miles of their office. And that was me for most of my career. So I always feel you know gratitude and, and humbled, and I let you know I'm going to do everything I can in my power to make that trip worth it for you. Good. I'm going to work my butt off. So um, not a lot of pain, right? Which I want to tell everybody, I stress this every time it comes up. Chiropractic is great for back pain and neck pain and things of that nature, but you don't, it, it, it's much more than that. It's for function. It's for uh, alignment. It's for um, prevention and on and on and on. Even boost your immune system when you're in alignment compared to when you're not in alignment. So you're coming in kind of for like a tune-up. You're feeling that there's some things out in your hips and your shoulder, and you, you've had scoliosis since day one. Mm -hmm. um, you lost a lot of weight recently, and then you put, put most of it back on in muscle. So you feel like your body sort of has to readjust itself from being heavy. Your hips are kind of pulled out of, out of alignment from, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to do a good, uh, I'm going to do a good exam. I'm going to see what's showing up. We'll talk to the camera and to you as we find stuff, and then we'll go ahead and fix it. Simple as that. You ready? Ready. Okay. Face down on this table right there. Put your face between the pillows there. Rest your hands on the side cushions. And I'm going to do a little mini exam. Not a mini exam, a full exam, actually. Actually, I lied. Oh, my God. Sit up. I'm going to do the uh, neck and shoulders first. Face that way. And then we'll lay you down for the rest. So first, we're going to look at the top half. Sit up a little straighter, if you don't mind. So as I look from back here, you feel like you're straight. The sitting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shoulders are actually even. You told me you felt like yeah, the right like shoulder was pulling down. When I, when I see photos and stuff. Yeah. Today, I mean, sitting right like this, it yeah. doesn't look too bad. Yeah. But you definitely have a head tilt to the right. Your head is tilted this, this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which means usually the side it's pulling down towards is the tighter side. Okay. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Right away as, as I feel it. Way tighter here. Can you feel the difference yeah. as I squeeze in there? Yeah. Now, from the side, everybody's got forward head posture, so I, I like to take a look at that. From the side view, you've got about an in, two-inch forward head posture, so your head is popping off your shoulders about two inches. Major, major distortion, especially with guys that have desk jobs because too much of this all day long, looking down at the phone all day long. Head pops forward, stresses out this area, buku, and then eventually it, it destabilizes the whole rest of the spine. So that's a major distortion. I focus on that a lot to help get that head back over the shoulder so that the rest of the uh, spine can be more stable. Now we're going to check out the range of motion. So turn, let's see, turn as far as you can this way. Not horrible, not too bad at all, but a little bit restricted. Normal should be able to get the nose here. Okay. I'm rated about 10, 15 degrees impaired. Go this way. Not too bad either. See, boom, should be able to go boom. So that's like 10 degrees. I got guys coming in here that are 50 degrees locked up, you know, all day long. So you're way better than the average guy. Good for you on that. How about here? Any jamming sensation as you go backwards? No. Nope. Any dizziness in this position? Good. Chin down as far as you can. Good. Anything pulling here, here, anything way down? Nope. All right, come on up. Yeah, definitely way tighter. All this musculature is locked up and that's why you probably feel it pulling down on that right side okay now i want you to go face down so put your face there and i'm not lying this time <laughs> we'll stay that way good just get nice and relaxed let's take a look at your posture from laying in this position 
It's not the most ideal way to analyze posture, but it gives me info to work with and to look towards improving. So yeah, I could definitely see your scoliosis as you lay here. You got your upper part of your back is kind of rounded off to the left and your lower back and your hips and pelvis are torqued to the right. So you got this going on here. You got a high left scapula on the left and kind of pulling over to the left side. Um, and your middle back um, is a little more curved than it should be. It's probably, I would rate it mild to moderate. It's not, you know, I'm not saying you have a hunchback, but it's definitely more curved. They call it a hypo, hyper kyphotic middle back. The good news is with a proper adjustment or two, this will flatten out. I'm not saying 100%, but it will get better than it is. Definitely, definitely. De is that sore too when I poke or just because it's way spasmed here on this right side? A little bit here, much more on that side. All right. So now I'm going to bend up your knees. This is an orthopedic test. Normal, you should just feel your thighs stretching. But as I bend up, if you feel anything stretching here, anything extra pulling here, or any pain activate here, when I bend, let me know. That's an abnormal response. Mm -mm. Bend. Coming up, coming up, coming up. What's happening in your lower back? It gets tighter as I bend? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Po that's a positive orthopedic test that indicates too much compression where you felt it. So already I know you got compression, abnormal compression in your lumbar spine. And I feel it. And I'm sure you feel it too. Yeah. Okay. Is it sore when I poke around in here? A bit. Yeah. So that means there's also inflammation in the soft tissue. How about out this way? A good. I mean, not good, but thank you for saying that. Uh, how about this side? Not as, much not as much so. Boom and boom. Yeah. So that means the soreness when you push, when you, uh, when you touch, is an indication of um, soft tissue inflammation, inflammation in the soft tissue. A everything but bone is considered soft tissue. As I come up, it's tight. Anything still sore up here though? No. It's pretty jammed up though, especially here. This is the transition between the middle back and your lower back. Now I'm gonna check the range of motion for your sacroiliac joints. Okay. So I'm just gonna put a little pressure down on your tailbone. And then I'm, I want you to start with your left leg. Don't bend it at the knee. Keep it stiff all the way down. Lift it up off the table as high as you can go and go. Yeah. All right. Very nice with height wise. Did you feel any abnormal pulling when you lifted? No. Good. Do the right side. Good. And down. I saw a little something, but ha which, which side felt harder to lift? Uh, probably the right side. Yeah. It didn't go up quite as high, but mild, mildly uh, distinguishable. So it's a little tighter on this right side, I would say. Both sides could use a little releasing and we're gonna do that later when we, when we do the adjustment. And then way tighter here on the, on the um, upper back, lower neck on the right. So it seems like right side for you is holding more tension than the left. Has that been a pattern for you throughout the years? Yeah. yeah. People have their patterns. Occasionally a pattern will completely resolve, but usually not. It, it kind of quiets down and then when stress goes, it pops back up again. That's what I've seen, you know, taking care of patients over long periods of time. All right. So you definitely have chiropractic issues. You're definitely ready for an adjustment. You, you might be overdue. So I'm ready to go if you are. Nothing showed up for safety stuff. Um, if you want the best that I have to offer, especially since you have a very long drive to get here, so it might be hard for you to get here on a, on a really regular basis. It's, it's, it's got to be option three, ring dinger and full body. Okay. I've been seeing clinically gets the, the deepest releases and the longest lasting results. Of course, that, that, all that has to also factors in what you're doing to yourself on a daily basis, but that's the best I have to offer. So you, you down? Yep. Awesome. All right, so here, here's what we're going to do. You stay right there. I'm going to just stretch you out a little bit here first, kind of do a little massage. All my fans know that that's my routine. I like to warm my patients up first before we do the big stuff. And then we're going to go right in the back room, and we're going to do a full spine decompression pull with the ring dinger. I'm assuming you haven't had that yet, right? Yeah. Since you've been, a, a, you know, most of your life, 
receiving chiropractic. I'm very interested to hear your opinion on that once you experience it. Because when I experienced it, it blew me away. Compared to uh, other adjustments, one pull and the whole spine is just like, bop, 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 releases. So I'm pretty much like behind it a thousand percent. And I've been seeing a lot of people do extremely well um, when you combine that with the full body adjustment. It's not a full release, but it definitely gets a lot of the compression out. So once we do the decompression, then you're going to come back on this table and I'm going to do a full body adjustment here, the full spine, and then basically all the peripheral joints, shoulders, elbows, wrists, knees, hips, ankles, arches. And then my goal and my vision is you'd be walking out of here feeling happy and feeling good. Happy that you came. Uh, we got to get you all tuned up for Vietnam, huh? Three weeks in Vietnam? God bless. Um, have you been there before? Wow. So may, may I be nosy and ask you, like, why, what's the big attraction for Vietnam for you? Oh, oh, that makes sense. So your partner's Vietnamese. Oh, so you go visit the family and... Oh, yeah. So you get the real deal when you go there. You're not a tourist. You get plugged into the real culture. That's awesome. And I'm assuming it, uh, American dollars still stretch pretty good over there. Amen. On my bucket list, I got a bunch of martial arts guys that I take care of that go over to the Philippines once or twice a year and, and train with all the masters over there, the martial arts masters. And they keep inviting me to go. They want me to go to the Philippines and hang out with them. So maybe, maybe this winter I might take a, a trip out there. So what type of a dealership do you work at? Like what, what, it, what, uh, what type of cars or is it a mix match? Oh, just, okay. You doing good with the massage? Most people love it. Yeah, a little, little bit extra on this right side. All right, like I said, just a little warm up, but a lot of people feel good, a lot, a lot better just after the massage. Yeah, loosened up pretty good for you. Okay, when you're ready, come up on your feet. We're going in the back room where all the decompression happens. Go ahead through, hang a right, hang a left, rather I lied. Give me a second, I'm gonna put paper down for your head and then I'll guide you on how to do this. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to lay on your back, head here, face up on your back. Okay. Go ahead and get down. Then we got to line you up so uh, your hips are lined up properly. Keep your hands up top. Now I got to feel the top of your hips. Come down like two inches toward, yeah, right there. Perfect, perfect. Good. All right, now the table's coming up. Coming up. You nervous or are you good? I'm good? I love it. Some people get a lot of lot, a lot of angst on their first one. <clears throat> now knees are coming up. Just let try not to wiggle. I haven't explained this in a while. So what this does is by bringing your legs up, is it rotates the pelvis this way, 
And normally your lower back is, is curved like this, like the rainbow. When you rotate the pelvis this way, it flattens out that curve. So instead of the vertebrae stacking around the rainbow, they're stacking like dominoes now. So when you pull, it's much easier to release the disc from that perspective than if it was on the curve. Genius. I didn't, I'm not taking credit. I did not design this table, but it's designed geniusly, if that's a word. Now we have to pin you in above your hip bone. So it's going to be a little snug down here. Because when I pull, I want a lot of drag, a lot of stop, or even that you, your body even stops short. And that allow, if you know anything about physics, that allows the force to shoot all the way down to release from the top of your skull all the way to your tailbone. Boom, one pull, if done correctly. If this is too tight, let me know. Can you handle this? Perfect. Okay. Let me get your hands back to me. This is not the treatment. I'm just making sure there's no slack between your pins and your hips. Perfect. All right, relax them down again. If, if you're comfortable there, that's fine. Now the towel goes around your neck, mm -hmm. but really it grabs the back of your skull and your jaw like this. Mm -hmm. But my hands are way too small to get a good enough grip, just hands only. So the, the towel gives me leverage and, and grip. <clears throat> And then when you're done, you might be an inch taller, too. For an extra 50 bucks, I'll guarantee that. No, it's a joke. Okay. 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 And a spritz, just because once in a while, it's possible to slip. So I, don't, I want better grip on the towel. Lift up your neck. Nope. Yep. And come down. It goes around your throat, but it really shouldn't be choking here. So if it gets too tight here, let me know. Okay. How's that on your throat? You okay? Yeah. Okay. This is the most important thing for you to worry about. So listen closely. Keep your teeth gent touching together. Gently though. Don't bite too hard because that makes things too tight here and it doesn't tends not to release as well. Mm -hmm. But gently keep your teeth touching. So when I pull, I don't want you to bang teeth. I want them mm -hmm. to be stable and breathe through your nose. Other than that, try to keep the rest of your body as relaxed as you can, but I'm going to help with that. And that's it. I'll do everything else. You ready? Okay. All right. Give me five seconds. Stay loose, breathe through your nose. Okay, first I'm getting a grip. Nothing sneaky happening quite yet. Chin down a little bit towards your feet. Wiggle your left toe. And breathe. How's that? Describe what it felt like. Yeah, I felt really well so like nice. Yeah. Some people, it, it's a full spectrum. Some people scream, yell, curse, yell for Jesus, threaten me. One, one lady threatened to kill me after I pulled. She was in shock. That's <laughs> what she did. She was screaming, I'm going to kill you. After she calmed down, she hugged me because she felt better. And then some people are silent like you. And it's you guys that make me a little nervous. I'm like, what's going on in there? Is it okay? So all the way, you felt releasing all the way down? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So that could have taken out stuff. It might have been hanging around for decades because traditional chiropractic doesn't really get this. It, I'm in the biz for 30 years. Now, I'm not claiming that I know everything about everything, but I know a lot about a lot, and I, there's nothing else that I know of no. in the profession that does this. So, all right, now I want to do a little twist in your neck, and then we'll get you up. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's see, neck feels pretty good. Nice. Let's see about this right side already, it's looser. Wow, big release. Good. Okay, here I'm done. So when you feel comfortable and ready, come on up on your feet, take your time, no, make sure you're not woozy. When you stand up, I want you to stop for a second, bring your attention into your body, and describe what feels different, if, if you notice anything. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. yes, that's what I want to hear. Magical, you know, music to my ears, because that's exactly what it's doing. It's pulling out all that stuff that's mm -hmm. keeping you this way. Yeah. Yep. And the regarding posture, right? As long as there's no deformities in your bones and the locking joints in your, in your, in your, in your frame, but particularly your spine, once that tension gets pulled out, it's an automatic, you pop right back up. There's no effort. You're just like, boing, mm -hmm. straighter. 
And that's what you look like to me. Is that kind of yeah, how you yeah, feel? Yeah. Shoulders are back more, heads back over the shoulders. Good. All right, good pull on my end, great. Go back on your belly there. We're gonna recheck a few things and we're gonna do more. Yeah. Anytime you have to effort to uh, create good posture, it's not, it's not the, the natural way of doing it. And it's not gonna work because as soon as you forget about efforting, what happens? You shift back to your old posture. But when you get it really released and you don't have to think about it, that's true postural correction. So, all right. Now, still got that little, that shift in your shoulders and your upper. That's the scoliosis. I don't expect that to resolve with one pull. It's flatter here though, less of a curve, but your pelvis is definitely much better. You have zero torque now. It's completely centered the way it's supposed to be. So now I'm gonna re-bend. Remember when you told me it was, it was pulling? Let's redo that. You tell me if it feels the same or hopefully improved. Because those are my indicators. I can't feel what you feel inside, so I have my own measurements to tell me whether this is working or not. Bend, 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 bend. How's that feel now? Less pull? Amen. So that tells me for sure, for sure, for sure, we pulled out a lot of jamming already. And we're not done yet, but I already even feel it. I feel that you got better motion in here. Even here is better, but still needs a lot of work through this region. So we're now we're going to do what's called the drop technique. So we're going to do some push down. We'll, we'll, we'll do the lumbars and the pelvis, and then we'll work our way up. Perfect lined up. So the belly part drops. This is going to pop up. Oh, I got to redo the tension. It must be a little, it must have been a lighter person on here before. And then when I push down on you, the table's going to go boom. So we're gonna go all the way up the lumbars and then we'll hit the sacroiliacs. Your job, stay loose. And if it's too much, too rough, you don't like it, let me know right away. Good, Oof. relax. Good, wow, oh my God, big time. Remember I told you that transition area was jammed? Well, it ain't so jammed anymore, so that's good. They got good food over there in the, uh, Vietnam? Vietnam? A lot of seafood, or it depends on where you are, right? Cool. All right. Really, really, really feels loose and, and released. Let's check the sacroiliacs. So go ahead and lift as high as you can again. Very nice. Up and down. Feel any different? Before it was good already, but yeah. if... No, I don't feel any tension. Good. Good. Try this one. Okay. And down. Okay. Visually, it looked much smoother. Do you... F it felt loose, a little loose? Oh, good. Yeah. And when I push down, I don't feel a lot of locking. So it's a good wiggle in the joint. Good good motion in the joints of the of the lumbars. Everything here. I, I, I pronounce this happy. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to work up this way. We'll do a little more drop through the thoracic spine and then a little bit in the upper, upper back, and then the neck. Stay relaxed. Good. Good. Nice. Good. Okay. Let's see about this transition area. Look straight up, just a little bit. Now floppy, stay loose. Good, back in the middle. Let's see about this right side, which was the tighter side. Look up again, tilt. There we go, perfect. Can you feel the difference? Yeah, much better. Let me see if that posture did anything. Do do, straighten you out. Again, pelvis looks beautiful. And middle back looks flatter, not perfect, but flatter than when we started. So that's, I'm happy with that. We, I, never, I never expect perfection from one visit. Progress, definitely. Good. Okay, roll over on your back, face up. Doo-doo. Okay, now we're going to do a little stretch. Let me have your hands back to me. 
So just a little stretch in the shoulders, the arms and the elbows and the wrists and the back a little bit. Good. A little stretch. Ba-boom. Even got the wrists. Anything more released down there? Sometimes it does. In the uppers? Cool. You good with toes and feet and everything? Some people don't like them to touch, so I always get, I get permission. Good. Not too noisy today, but it's not about the pops. It's about release. So I'm going to do a little tug at your ankle. Stay relaxed, loose. That was big. Big ankle release there. Drop it and flop. Boom! That was awesome. Do you feel anything up here? Because this... Good. Sometimes that'll go... Ankle, knee, and hip with one pull. Okay. Everything's doing good on this side. Sit up when you're ready. Face this way. We're going full circle. Let's see. Sit up what feels normal to you again. So let's see. Teeny bit of that head tilt, but it's way better. But I, I've, almost gone. Almost completely gone with the head tilt. Keep looking that way. The way to measure for the forward head is you bisect the shoulder in half. Usually if your shirt's on correctly, it's the seam. And go straight back. Boom. Remember last time when I went back, I wasn't even touching your ear. Just making sure I'm not cheating. Bam. So yeah, it came back at least a half an inch, which for one visit is pretty remarkable. Afterwards, when we're done, if, you, if you're interested in learning some stretches that you can do to help even, you know, correct that even more and continue to, to keep this looser, okay. I'll teach them if you, if you promise you'll give them a shot. Yeah, give them a shot. Awesome. All right, we're going to finish off. We're going to do shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers both sides and we'll be done for today. Okay. So start on this side, bend your elbow up in front of you. I got to give you a hug, hug around, get both hands underneath the elbow and do a little pop up this way. So mind your fists uh, so you don't punch yourself in the face. Stay relaxed. Mm -hmm. I got you. Nice. Give me this side. Good. Stay relaxed. Mm -hmm. Elbow down. Good. Noisy shoulders today. Elbow. It's my dog. I love it. Drop loose. Relax. Good. Elbow is good. Now the wrist. Relax. Good. Good. Pull. Nice. What kind of breed is that? It's a Shiba. I was going to say that. I was going to say Shiba. Shiba Uno? Mm -hmm. What's it called? Shiba Uno. Yeah. From, is that Japan? Japan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drop. Relax. Boom. Big one on the wrist. Big one on the elbow. I mean, the. that's not the elbow. <laughs> thumb, thumb, but you did get the elbow too? Okay. Awesome. And done. So that's my full body and, and ring there. My measurements showed you released very well. You're in touch with your body. You've been having this for, you've been doing this. Yeah, so get, uh, if you don't mind, what is your impression of this compared to like your traditional adjustments that you are used to getting? This was a complete... Release of all the tension in my lower back, my upper back, my shoulders, my neck, everything feels, feels good. Yep. Good. Good. So you're happy because you're, you're not allowed to leave it. You're happy. You got to stay here. Yep. Good. That makes me happy too. I'm very, very pleased. Good release. I appreciate you taking the ride. Mm -hmm. Listen, I get it. I know it's what, 90 minutes away or something? Mm -hmm. But if you feel like I'm your guy and you you know you want to come every so often to get a good release, you're 100% welcome to come whenever you want, whenever you feel you need it. Mm -hmm worth the drive for adjustments. Amen. Yeah. Some people, I'm their exclusive and they take the drive to me every time. Mm -hmm. Some people have a traditional chiropractor in their area. They zip there every, you know, for, for little adjustments. And when they really feel like they need a good, good one, then they take the trip. To me, it doesn't matter. As long as you come, if, if you feel that uh, what I do for you is valuable, come when you feel you need me and I'll do my very best for you. So you figure that out. Mm -hmm. I don't mess with people's lives. I'm not into controlling or manipulating. I want you to be happy and do what feels right to you, as long as it's making a difference for you and it's worth it for me. 
You know what I'm saying? So appreciate it. Well, Very nice. Than, than amen. I'm yeah. glad you're happy. Yeah. So let's say goodbye to the, uh, the audience out there. Dr. Eric Herman, Guru Chiropractor. Peace and love. Blessings to everybody out there. If you're sick and suffering, if your back is all jacked up and you, you're, you're not having a good time with it, and you're within the tri-state area, I'm in Edison, New Jersey, and you're willing to take the ride, I, my heart's in it 100%. I will do my very best to help you. Come on through. Best way to reach out is my go to my website, retrochiropractic.com. There's a book now link there. Is that how you found me? Yeah. Enter your info in the book now link, and it goes right to a spreadsheet where my assistant grabs it. He'll reach back out to you. We're text only. We don't do any any phone calls initially because we're so busy. It's just not as efficient. So I hope you're okay with that. He'll text with you. He'll give you all the information, answer all your questions. And if it's right and you book an appointment and you come through, I promise from my heart, I will do my very best to help you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Peace.